three bartenders are listed in the program for Flagon's Wake at the Playhouse at Westport Plaza. They are characters in the play, but they will sell you a Guinness or a Jameson's if you want one. That's because the distinction between the stage and the audience is blurred in this rollicking show, whose subtitle is The Hilarious Interactive Irish Wake. The premise of the evening is that the friends and loved ones of the late Flanagan have assembled in a pub in Ireland to honor his memory. Those at the gathering include Flanagan's difficult-to-understand mother, his close friend Brian Ballybunion, his grieving fiance of three decades, Fiona Finn, her brother, whose first name, of course, is Mickey, the parish priest, Father Fitzgerald, the mayor, Martin O'Doul, and the formidable Kathleen Mooney. I can't say for sure how much of what they said was scripted and how much was created on the spot based on input from the distant relatives in attendance. They, of course, are the audience. Before the show begins, the actors break down the barrier between themselves and the audience by interacting with the patrons as they take their seats. Name tags are provided so the cast can call on audience members by name when their assistance is required. The raw material for an improvisation is sometimes requested of the audience as a whole. At other times, specific individuals get the requests. In either case, the cast has very little time to incorporate the suggestions. On the night we came, we were treated to vivid characterizations and nimble ad-libbing. The cast, under Leanne Matthews' direction and Charlie Mueller's musical direction, includes Brett Ambler's Brian, Lynn Berg as Mayor O'Doul, Bill Burke as Mother Flanagan, Teresa Doggett as Kathleen Mooney, Alan Knoll as Father Fitzgerald, Dustin Petrio as Mickey Finn, and Jennifer Thebe Quinn as Fiona Finn. Patrick Blindauer, who is on piano at our show, and Steve Isom will be replacements later in the run. Some audience members were quick-witted and clever when they were put on the spot. Others had a hard time coming up with any answer at all, much less a good one. All in all, the cast was highly successful in dealing with whatever they had to work with. The spirit of fun tends to be contagious at a show like this one, especially if the bartenders are kept busy. That appeared to be the case at our show, judging by the lengths of the lines outside the restrooms at intermission. <laughs> so that's how you judge these things, I see. Very good. Well, I suppose that would be typical for an Irish wake. Uh, and this was, uh, they were having fun. I think, uh, as you say, there was improv, but the audience would make a suggestion. I noticed that it always somehow managed to be fit into what appeared to be a prepared speech for the character. But we had a good cast having fun with it and let's have fun with some of that music, which the audience often joined in with also. Bob Wilcox here. I hope you'll like the reviews on Two in the Isle. You can click here to see other reviews and to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to ring the notification bell to be reminded immediately after we post. Enjoy the reviews.